Isolated showers still showing up at this late hour. Yes, a nice lull for some parts, but I know you are tracking another round. Yeah, storms back in the forecast tomorrow and especially on Sunday. And what's been moving through this evening? You know, I was telling you about this earlier. Take a look at Storm Tracker radar. At least I was telling you about the possibility that the storms in western Tennessee, just west of Jackson, could possibly move into the valley, and we'll get kind of the tail end of this. But this has all been weakening over the past several hours, and now we've got just some showers north of the state line here up into Lauderdale County, just right along the county line there, and then one tiny downpour just along the Colbert and Franklin County lines. So we'll get a closer view here, and you'll see what I mean, how all of this is weakening. Look like some pretty strong storms earlier just southwest of Lawrenceburg, but those have been fizzling to just some light showers. And if you look closely, just east of 43 here, right east of Russellville, that's where we still have a couple little downpours. Not much in the way of lightning showing up with that, but you can get a quick little burst of rain. But really nothing else to talk about for this evening. But let's talk about yesterday because this is a stunning picture sent in from Aubrey Naiman. This is coming from Wheeler Lake. And what you're noticing here are a couple of things. At least I notice them. Not only do you see the rainbow, but see the sun rays here? Notice how they kind of converge toward the horizon. These are anti-crepuscular rays. So remember that word and you can impress your friends at the next dinner party that you're at. But they occur opposite of the sun. And just another little fact for you, every rainbow is also appearing opposite the sun. So I got the clue that these were anti-crepuscular rays because they were on the same side of the skies where that rainbow had appeared. But a really lovely view there. Again, thank you very much, Aubrey, for sending that one. And if you would like to share some of your weather pictures, we would love to see them, and we would love to share them. Share at wadetv.com. That's the best way to get in touch with us. And we'll try and get them on the air and show people what you're seeing. As we go through tonight into tomorrow, we won't be seeing much in the way of active weather. Just a few passing clouds and any of the remaining showers continue to fizzle. I know that what you're looking at here shows this kind of flaring back up around 11 o'clock. It's possible that you hear that clap of thunder tonight, but really after midnight, we're pretty much done with this. By noon tomorrow, the showers start to redevelop as we go through the afternoon. They become more widespread. There's 3 o'clock. There's 5 o'clock. Now through tomorrow night, we don't completely lose the storm chance or the rain chance. There's 11 o'clock tomorrow night all the way into Sunday. We're still holding on to a few of these showers and storms as early as 7 o'clock Sunday morning all the way through 10 a.m. Now through Sunday afternoon, there's 4 o'clock. So I've got your rain chances a little bit higher for Sunday than what we've got for tomorrow. If you're planning on getting out on the water, doing some fishing, 93 degrees, so that's hot mid-afternoon, right? But your best chances at landing one come on either side of peak daytime heating, 540 in the morning or a little bit later in the evening, 540. Light wind out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's the deal for at least your Saturday forecast in a little more detail. Now let's look ahead here for Sunday. Your rain chance is 50 percent, 90 degrees for your forecast high, 93 on Monday again. A little bit of a break from the rain, 20% chance for a storm Monday, and then the rain chances go back up between 30 and 40% in temperatures. Holding steady in the mid-90s starting Tuesday. Yeah, pick your day. The forecast looks pretty repetitive. <laughs> yeah, and I still think you're going to need to, you know, if you're hoping that the rain is going to give you some relief from watering the garden, no such luck. Hit and miss storms. You may get lucky with a quick inch of rain occasionally, but they are going to be scattered storms. Thanks, Kate.